Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I wanted to show you how I grew mushrooms out of this jack-o'-lantern. I've been wanting to attempt this for a while, and I'm super excited that it actually worked. I've never heard or seen anyone grow mushrooms out of a pumpkin, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I had some straw laying around, so I stuffed it into a bucket, poured in boiling water, and then let it soak for 30 minutes. While the straw was soaking, I started cutting the top of the pumpkin so I could gut it like a normal jack-o'-lantern. After about 30 minutes had passed, I drained the straw and then I was ready to start stuffing the pumpkin. I broke up some oyster mushroom green spawn I made about one month ago. If you want to replicate this but you don't know how to make mushroom green spawn, I'll leave a couple links in the description to some tutorials I made. I opened the bag and started layering the grain with the straw until it was completely packed. I attached the top of the pumpkin and let the mycelium from the grain colonize the straw. Alright, we got this thing packed really tight full of uh, straw and grain spawn. So now we'll just let it colonize just like this just for a couple weeks, maybe a week or two, and then we'll check on it and then we'll carve it and watch the mushrooms grow. Another experiment. Might as well go inoculate something else. 
We've got some green spawn left and straw left for a different experiment. After seven days, the pumpkin was already fully colonized and ready to fruit. Now it was time for the fun part, carving the pumpkin just like a normal jack-o'-lantern. By making these holes, we're introducing fresh air, which is what the mycelium needs to start fruiting mushrooms. All right, now we just let it fruit. I'm gonna put it in this greenhouse and just see if the mushrooms grow out of it. It's still solid, like no problem down here. Um, but look at that, that's a, uh, pretty gnarly looking top it was like molded I was pretty sure that this was not gonna work like this project because it was like contaminated um, but mushrooms never cease to surprise me they always pull through so this is pretty crazy I like how this mushroom is like the nose and it's like so big and funny looking. <laughs> well, this project was a success.